आर यू किडिंग मी When was the last time we had a story chapter? Our last story chapter was the 10th of March. Good morning everyone and welcome to whatever the hell this is. It is into story chapter I can tell you that much. Kettle Bond presents Charlie with a special creature involving a particularly dangerous magical creature. Charlie is asking for my help. It's for my care of magical creatures newt. Where is the main story? Will we ever get a main story chapter at this point ever again? Kerala Magical Creatures Newt is the only one I'm not worried about in the least. Of course, you're not one to be. You're a genius when it comes to creatures. I can't wait to graduate to not have spell creature dung ever again. Fair enough. I'm going to miss this class so much after we graduate. If we ever graduate, considering there are no story chapters coming out, Liz. Good God. Hello, fellow creature lovers. In light of your impending news, today's class will be a free study period. Take this time to review everything you can about our beloved magical creatures, so you can excel on the rest. I'll come around to each of you and make sure you're staying on topic. Which topic? You just said it was a free period. <laughs> I can hardly believe it's right. We're really going to graduate from Hogwarts in another six months or so because they'll never release a new chapter. I'm mad about the lack of story chapters. I really want the story to just move out, move on, move on, please. Hogwarts Legacy is going so much faster than your. The, 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 I don't know what is the story animal in the visiting world, yar. Okay, I don't know in the visiting world, but in general, let's just this, this story is going at a slow pace. I think if a slot could be any slower, it would be this game. How much legacy is moving faster than this? Everything is happening in one year. I suppose it had to happen eventually. We can't stay here forever. I wish I could graduate tomorrow. I want to become a dragonologist as quickly as possible. What about you, Rahi? What are you most looking forward to after graduation? Marrying Barnaby? That's not. A more that okay settling down is like the, the closest option. So I'll go with that. After so many exciting school years, I'm looking forward to settling down. You certainly earned a respect considering everything that's happened since we were first years. But if the VC household is any comparison, settling down and starting a family is quite an adventure in itself. <laughs> There's a lot to look forward to, but we still need to get through the news first. Do you think Gareth Weasley has siblings? Are you worried about that? I think we've got it in the bag, especially the Comsi newt. I'm just called Comsi. Sarah, you also are going for magicology, by the way, along with Barnaby and Liz. Not that I even needed to become a dragonologist. I wonder, should I even bother? Yes. Of course, you should. Should you even bother? You say. My second one. I just meant. Don't be troubled, Mr. Weasley. You and Mr. Weasley are some. You and Mr. Sil- you and Mr. Silvers are some of my finest students. Thank you. Barnaby is included in that list, right? Because he is also your finest student. But allow me to give you some advice. Advice that I do not care about. Skip. So he is basically saying more knowledge is always good, and I am inclined to agree. Until I think about Sebastian, I am like, is it? Is it though? No matter how skilled and experienced you are, there is always room to improve. <laughs> Mr. Weasley, since you are so confident in your quick skills, perhaps you are up to a challenge. I am up for any challenge, Mr. Kettleburn. Very well, I can see of a challenge for you that will take your magical quick skills to the very limit. Wasn't Charlie in his robes just now? How did he change costumes mid shot? Is Charlie's challenge going to be dangerous if it's a kettle one? You are in for quite an adventure, Mr. Weasley. I'll contact you soon with the details. Do we care? The placard showed like this great big guys, and imagine it's just like a fan puff skin or something, just like last week. Hello, Charlie. You seem quite determined today. Sir, I am glad you're here. Are you a training partner? Training partner for what? Training, huh? Does this have anything to do with the kettle one challenge? It does. The kettle one informed me of the details. But to be honest, I think I'm going to need your help. I'm always ready to help my friends. What sort of challenges does Mr. Kettleburn have in mind? I'll tell you all about it. But first, we need to practice locomotor no- mortis with leg locker curse. The leg locker curse, the curse that binds the target's legs together. Didn't we learn that as fifth years? We did, but we'll need to hone our skills to succeed in this challenge. What are we doing? Practice with me, sir. I'll explain everything. Can you hurry up this explanation, please? I would like to go back to bed. I right, you going to tell me what creature you're looking at because that's going to be the only interesting part of this entire quest line. Professor Kettleburn's challenge is to subdue a dragon and name measure its physical parameters. I have subdued several dragons. That's why we're practicing the leg lock of curse so we can immobilize it safely and humanely. I see. Does Professor Kettleburn have a specific kind of dragon in mind? Yes, he told me to find a Welsh tree in the Romanian dragon sanctuary. Professor Kettleburn is just. Amazing, honestly. He's even preparing a portkey to take me there, and I want you to come with me. 
Don't you have a well screen in the magical kitchen server already? <laughs> sure we do, but the measure but we measure the physical parameters of those dragons all the time. That's why Mr. Kettle Boy prefers using a wild dragon for this experiment, one that can probably eat us. But I thought most spells don't work on dragons. Dragon hide is incredibly tough with a leg lock because doesn't need to penetrate it to be effective. That's what makes it so clever. Fair enough. I see sounds like you're investigated and thought of everything. Yes, to the extent that, the, that this hardly feels like a challenge anymore. It's a dragon, it's going to be a challenge. I think a whole screen might be too easy a target, don't you? No? No? No, immobilizing any sort of dragon will be pretty difficult. That's just logic. That may be true for most witches and wizards, but not for us. Charlie Weasley and Sarai Silvers, but we're still human beings? I've taken what Mr. Kettleborn said to heart. There's always room for improvement. Think about it, Sarahi. After we graduate, we won't have classes or tests or textbooks anymore. We'll be on our own, and the only ones left to challenge us to improve will be ourselves. He is sitting in the air. I want to go back to bed. I feel like I'm Ron Weasley from like the old PlayStation games. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. I think I'll head to bed now. I'm exhausted. I watched gameplays of those games recently. So that's why I want to face an even more difficult challenge. Exactly, if I'm going to live my life working with dragons, I need to challenge myself to be one of the best. And the same goes for you, Sarahi. T together we'll reach new heights of excellence. What exactly do you have in mind? I'm not sure yet. I need some time to think. I'll be in touch when I've come up with a plan. Oh God, I thought we, I thought we were going now. Has anyone noticed that you can't actually do anything in your uh, dormitory <laughs> or common room in Hogwarts Legacy? I mean, you can't do anything in the common room in this game either, but you can do something in the dormitory. So you're here. Quick, we must begin discussing our plan. I think that you found a way to make Professor Kettlewell's challenge even more challenging, as if handling a dragon wasn't enough. <laughs> Have I ever, but I'm going to need your help, Sahi. Why do I get the feeling that this is going to be extremely dangerous? We need to be careful. There won't be any room for error, which is why we shouldn't be doing it. Why don't you start by telling me what sort of plan you have in mind so I can skip over it and listen to your gist? This game just makes me angry at times. <laughs> you can make this challenge all the more challenging by subduing a more fearsome type of dragon, a Hungarian freaking horn tail. I know you said that subduing a Welsh queen with the leg lock and curse will be difficult enough, but in the spirit of Professor Kettleborn's challenge, I decided to seek out the most fearsome dragon I could. I managed to locate a Hungarian hauntail that will be perfect for our challenge. Is it the same Hungarian hauntail that we have in the magical creatures reserve? Because that one's at least friendly. No, this one is younger, fiercer, and even more challenging than that one. Charlie wants someone to die. It's not the same hauntail we encountered when we went with Bill to the Romanian Dragon Sanctuary, is it? Yeah, we went. We did encounter one. The same, oh my god, it's the same, and I'm eager to find out if it's as nice, nasty now as ever. As it was then. We'll sneak into the haunter's cave and cast the leg lock or curse on it together while it sleeps. I don't think it'll affect it and we're going to be in trouble. I should give us plenty of time to study it in detail and keep Professor on a full report. You do realize that we are technically still in school and they're technically still responsible for our safe well being, right? The Hungarian Hauntel is one of the most fearsome dragons in the whole world. It certainly is. That's why the Hungarian Hauntel will be the perfect for our special challenge, don't you think? Too dangerous. Please allow me to be the voice of reason for once in my life. I'm not sure this is a good idea. Isn't it too dangerous? It wouldn't be a worthy challenge without a little danger, Sarahi. That's exactly why we have to do this. I don't know, but I would rather not get into more danger if I don't have to. With my plan, we'll subdue the dragon before it even notices us. It should be perfectly safe. Famous last words, people. Famous last words. I'm going to need your help, Sarahi. I can't do this without you. I suppose I'd better be there to make sure you don't get roasted. Because you're going to do it no matter what I do. I just have to be the voice of reason here. Subduing the most fearsome of dragons will show Professor Kettleborn that we'll rise to any challenge. And think of the benefit to dragonology. Again, horn tails are notoriously difficult to study. Yeah, for good reason! If you can successfully immobilize one, we'll be able to measure its sense from tip to tail, its fire temperature, its level of rage, how angry it's going to be when it eventually gets out from its restraints. You'll learn all sorts of fascinating information and probably die for it. As long as you don't have to retrieve any golden eggs. <laughs> don't worry, Sahi, this won't be like the last time we encountered this Hungarian Hauntail. I won't have to rule against it. That won't be necessary, Sahi. This time there will be no problems. <laughs> Just to foreshadow the fact that there will be problems. There definitely will be problems. My eyes hurt. Once we've recovered our findings, we'll undo the spell and make our escape. 
no harm to human or dragon a perfect plan which is definitely going to be ruined very well and you're certain you're ready for such a dangerous encounter i've never been more certain about anything sarahi that's saying something <laughs> this is going to be a challenge we'll never forget i'll send word when everything is ready this is not going to go well you're a freaking liar tani i see this icon i'm going to have to do a dragon of course i'll have to do a dragon and there's some gear in hotel right over there what was it the tnc said the last time we were here you won't be the first dragon i face and you certainly won't be the last We made it all the way to the Romanian dining sanctuary and into the Hungarian hotel's nest like idiots. <laughs> it was kind of messy kettle bun to arrange a port key for us and we couldn't even follow his one instruction and just go get the Welsh green measurements. Did you tell him why we here that we plan to subdue a Hungarian hotel so we can examine it? Oh. Uh, well, not exactly. He thinks he still thinks our plan is to study a Welsh green. You're lucky that I have plot armor to save your ass. Imagine how impressed he'll be when we return with a full report on one of the most fearsome dragons there is. That full-grown adult can't subdue, and two children will. They're still technically children until they've gotten out of school. Don't look at me like that. Last time you were in this cave, things didn't go exactly as planned, and you sat down in the air again. Wonderful game. Yes, I fell in the dark and hurt my leg. Lucky for Bill and I. Sorry, lucky for Bill and I. You were able. To, you were here to keep the hotel at bay, and I'm gonna have to do it again. <laughs> But this time things will go smoother. Mm-hmm. At this hour, the Hungarian hotel should be fast asleep. We loop Zuko Motor Mortis on his movements, allowing us to give a thorough examination. <laughs> and we could find out how much this one has grown since we last encountered it. The sudden that the Hungarian hotel will be asleep. It should be Dragon State to follow a consistent. <clears throat> you were saying. It seems our hotel is awake after all. <laughs> At least it sounds nice and healthy. Come on, Sarah, let's take a closer look and get our asses beat. <laughs> What a magnificent creature! Yeah, that will burn us. Here, plot by plot armor on. You stupid idiot! You must have just woken up. What do you think we should do? What do you think we should we go through with our plan anyway? Be careful, you stupid idiot! I'm not sure about this, Charlie. Mobilizing a dragon as it sleeps is one thing, but like this. <laughs> A dragonologist has to be prepared for anything, Sarahi. I am not a dragonologist. I want to be a magicologist. Okay, they also handle the notifications. Go away. Mm-hmm. But I understand your feelings. There's a fine line between courage and foolishness. Yes, as I am painfully aware, the hunter hasn't noticed us yet. Mm-hmm. Let's take this opportunity to assess the threat before making any moves. From what I can tell, this horn, this hunter seems to be especially nasty and in a particularly foul mood because it's hungry. I am also hungry. It certainly is right. Perhaps you were right to advise caution after all. Let's reconsider our plan. We can always get out. Go. Oh. Dumbass. Here, put my plot armor on. Merlin's beard has spotted us. I'll do it. You stupid idiot. Mm-hmm. Run for it, Sarah. I'll keep it distracted. Dude, I have the plot armor. You don't. Easy there, dragon. Hey, dragon, look at me. Broke it behind me and put my plot armor on. That's my chance. No go motor motor is better be enough. I'd or I just have to pull it probably. Look how much I'm watching. That worked. Hey, nice. We didn't have to do it. Well, that's right. You stopped a Hungarian hotel, but it's also. Shell aggressive. We should get out of here, you stupid idiot. This was a stupid idea. I'm telling your mother. And I'm not sure that will hold for long. Are you ready to take its measurements? Are you still doing this? We are ready, sir. I. This won't take more than a moment. Well, you guys just love playing with fire, don't you? <laughs> All right, measurements taken. Let's undo this spell and get out of here. Poor dragon has no idea what's going on. It's just hungry. Come to my classroom immediately and explain yourself. This is Charlie's fault. This was Charlie's idea. I tried to stop him. No one ever listens to me. Are we in trouble? Hello, Charlie. Did Mr. Kettleburn summon you too? He did. I don't think he's too happy about us snooping around again in hotels there. I guess we're in trouble, but at least we got out of that cave in one piece. 
Oh, thanks to you, I can't believe you were able to immobilize a Hungarian haunted on your own. Because of your stupid antics. Oh, uh, you were supposed so to do it together, but things didn't go exactly as planned. Things never go as planned, you stupid idiot. Why did you think they would? After what happened, do you still want to be a dragonologist? I mean, nothing is going to deter him from that. Are you kidding? I want to be a dragonologist more than ever now. <laughs> this experience has helped me understand the true power of these majestic creatures. My respect for them has only grown. I'll never underestimate a dragon again. I don't know why you underestimated a haunt tale to begin with, especially one we've already fought. It was in the cursed world too. I still miss Ray Pick. <laughs> hmm. Mr. Silvers, Mr. Weasley, this was his idea. He started it. I was just helping. He did not listen to me. No one ever listens to me. Please don't put me in trouble. It has come to my attention that you took the premise of my challenge and ran with it. <laughs> All the way to the lair of Hungarian haunt tale. Hmm. I'll give you a chance to explain your actions and it better be good. We do not care. <laughs> Again, I told Charlie not to do it and he did not listen to me. Your challenge was to study a Welsh green, not a Hungarian haunt tale. He did it. Do oh. you have any idea how much danger you put yourselves in? You two are lucky to be alive out of such a foolish decision. What do you have to say for yourself? Please have mercy on us, Professor. We were only trying to live up to the spirit of your challenge. No, have mercy on me. You can punish him. This was not my idea. We sought to improve ourselves by seeking a greater obstacle, but we were lucky to escape unscathed. You've learned our lesson and won't do something like this ever again. At least I won't. Uh, Charlie is like, dude, I don't care that I have 20 different options I'm gonna use Imperio. That type of thing. Hmm. I should hope you've learned our lesson. By all rights, you should be punished severe, severely for this. But perhaps I should be merciful, your rush with danger may have been punishment enough. Don't blame Sarahi Professor, this fault was mine, the whole thing was my idea. Yes, thank you. When we saw that Hungarian hotel was awake, it was Sarahi who advised us to be cautious. Oh. We should have just left then and there, but I wanted to stay and observe it more. Then it spotted us. As a Hogwarts professor, I would never control such wildly irresponsible behavior. Mm. That you successfully immobilize the hotel and measure its physical parameters is beside the point. You misused the portkey I gave you to subdue a dangerous dragon after intruding into its lair. That said, it seems you have learned your lesson. <laughs> we sure have, Professor. <laughs> It'll remind me never to go to places with Charlie again. <laughs> Don't worry, Professor. I've learned far more from this experience than I expected. As a dragonologist, I push myself to take risks in pursuit of knowledge. But I won't take the dangers for granted. I appreciate dragons on a whole new level now. The experience has given me much to think about, that's for sure. Life after graduation will throw many unexpected challenges at you both. I hope you can carry the spirit of this experience with you as you are entering the wizarding world. Hmm. If we ever enter it, because who knows how long it will be before we graduate. But if, you are, but if you value your lives and limbs, you will take care to be more cautious in the future. We don't want to look like Kettleburn. You will, Professor, at least I will. Charlie, I don't know. <laughs> Good, now I suggest you return to your studies. The new search is on the corner. Are you kidding me? No, they're not. There's still like 10 more chapters left. Oh, we'll be there and we'll be ready for the challenge. Uh, shut up, Charlie. <laughs> just... I think these quests, like to get the chance to cheat on the notes, are like just here for no reason other than to make the game longer for no reason. Because when the notes eventually come, we'll all be eventually googling the answers. We don't need cheating. We don't need a cheat code. We'll just be googling the answers anyway. This is 32 minutes of recording to probably make a 15 minute video on Charlie's stupidity. <laughs> and everyone who's making fun of me in the comments for not doing Sebastian's quest. Guys, I'll do it eventually. I just want to finish Natty's quest first. Okay? Then I'll do Sebastian. Just I'm saving him for last. Now whether I'm saving the best for last or the worst for last, I have no idea. That's all the Hogwarts mystery we're gonna get this week. And I'll see all of you in the next video. Okay? Bye everyone. Hope you have a more fun day than I do. <laughs>